Do you guys want to hear a story? No? Okay, fine. So, yesterday, I am with my wife at Target. And we're like, oh, we should get something to drink before we leave. And I've seen some commercials for this drink called Gatorade. Not Gatorade. It's called Gator Light. It's, it's Gator Light. This thing. Opened it. Drank a little. I tasted it. And I thought it tasted so bad. The story isn't about the Gator Light. The story is what the Gator Light reminded me of. It reminded me of something that happened a few months ago. My wife and I recently just moved. And me and my wife both like to go out to eat. We specifically like pizza, okay? I really like pizza, I love it. And we usually get it from this certain place. From the same place, we get the same pizza every time. It's, mwah, it's fucking delicious, all right? I'd stick my dick in it if I could. But we recently moved. So, we decided, hey, there's some new pizza places around here. Maybe, maybe we should try a new pizza place. And so, we look around, and there's one pizza place that we see. Uh, there's this pizza place, alright? I'm not gonna say the actual name of it, but it's like the name of, of an Italian woman, okay? It's like Angie's, alright? It's, it's like Angie's Pizza. And we're like, oh, that might be pretty good, right? My wife orders it. We, we call up Angie. We, we order a pizza. We order a plain cheese pizza, okay? A plain cheese pizza. That's it. So I hop in my car. I head down to, to fucking Angie's, okay? <laughs> Thank God we're getting every tiny detail for the climax of the story. So I hop in my car. <laughs> okay, what, what was I saying? Okay, okay, okay. Like I was saying, I get in my car. <laughs> this was supposed to be relevant to Gatorade, Gage. Okay, it's not relevant to Gatorade or Gator Light. This shitty drink just reminded me of something that happened a few months ago. So back to the story. I get in my car. I pull up to the pizza place, right? I, <laughs> I walk into Angie's. And the first thing I, the first thing that happens, okay, a lot of things are going on because my eyes are so fucking itchy. My eyes are itchy and I'm trying to get through the story. Like I said, I hop in my car, <laughs> I pull up to Angie's and I walk in the front door. <laughs> and it's like one of those pizza places that doesn't have any seating, right? It's, it's just like a, a bar that has like just a flat fucking bar where you just make a pizza. No seating whatsoever. And the first thing I noticed, <laughs> okay, like I said, I get in my car. <laughs> yeah, so I pull up, I'm in the Angie's, and the first thing I notice is that there's like a literal toddler on the counter next to the register. Just like fucking counting money or something. Next to like some teenage like dude or girl, I don't remember. Like, like clearly like an older sister. They're running the whole business apparently. And so I come up and I'm like, hey, I, uh, I'm here to, uh, hi, my name's Noah. I'm here to pick up a pizza. I'm here to pick up a pizza. And she doesn't say anything to me. <laughs> she doesn't say anything to me, but yells back. She yells back into the like fucking ether of a kitchen. And then someone yells back something. And then they tell me, uh, tell me the price. Okay. I pay, I hand them money and then I pay, I pay for the pizza. And I, I, so, so I'm waiting. I'm like, I'm just like chilling. You know, this fucking toddler is just here, just sitting there next to this other teenage person. They're just, they're literally doing nothing. They're literally just like sitting there. Then Angie herself walks out. This fucking like 55, mid 50s, possibly lower 60s year old Italian woman comes out with her fucking wrinkly ass face and her wrinkly ass hands that she just made my pizza with and hands me the pizza. I'm like, okay, we're gonna try a new pizza. <laughs> so I grabbed the cheese pizza. This is a plain cheese pizza. I would like to remind you, we ordered a plain cheese pizza. Hop in my car and I go back home and I put the cheese pizza on the counter in our kitchen. I open the pizza and it's a plain cheese pizza. It's a plain cheese pizza. I grab two slices of this plain cheese pizza. We sit down to eat, we take a bite. I am not kidding you when I say this. Disclaimer, disclaimer, 
I don't know what cum tastes like, but this pizza was a mixture of cum, cheese, and Play-Doh. It was this ungodly, disgusting mixture. I don't know what Angie was cooking up in the kitchen, but dear God, I took a bite of it. I couldn't tear it apart. It was like made out of Mighty Putty. I could not tear it apart. It tasted horrible. It tasted so fucking bad. I don't know what cum tastes like, but I guarantee you that is what cum tastes like. And so I never ordered from there again. I never saw Angie again. I never wanted to see Angie again, but that was the worst tasting pizza I've ever had. And so you're probably wondering, what does this have to do with Gatorlate? I drank this and I was like, oh my God, this tastes so fucking bad. It reminded me of that pizza I ate one time from that old Italian woman that tasted like a mixture of cum and Play-Doh.